something that could put a few more owner operators out of business or small companies. Well, they go squalling to the AT or to the FMCSA. They need to make a rule. ATA is how we got the 30 minute break. ATA is how we got the 14 hour clock. ATA is one doesn't want the split sleeper. They want bigger, heavier trucks. They want less training for drivers. Anything they can do to put a dollar in their pocket. I'd say a large percentage of the hills it's the trucking, the trucking industry faces due to the ATA. They're the ones that keep the freight cheap. They're the ones that keep the driver's pay low. They're like every other lobbying group out there. They put a pretty face on it. Rest assured, it's all about the dollars. The general public do half the things some of these big companies do and let go on out of here on the road. Up the road, and if I 
was three or four hours up the road and I started feeling tired. It's that more than once. But I didn't get a good night's sleep the night before or something. Feeling kind of tired. I'd shoot up in a rest area, crawl in the back, get me some sleep, and shut down my clock. I wouldn't lose anything for it. Now, once the wheels start turning and that 14 hour clock starts rolling, that 14 hour clock don't stop. I don't care how tired you are, how bad the weather gets. If you're sick, whatever, that clock don't stop. And so it forces you to, to muddle through it. <clears throat> Forces you to work even in bad conditions. I'm going to do a related video to this. afraid to say no. Is that dispatcher on the other end of that line? He's got one interest. In getting, that's getting that load from point A to point B on time and intact. He don't care if it kills you doing it. Catch you on the flip side.